Welcome to my new lesson today about Unit 1, Gifts of Youth. The introduction to the first unit of the book Ticket to English, presented by teacher Maryam Bukaidi. Before starting the lesson, I would like you to have a look at this picture. These are the stages that we go through in our lives. We start from being a baby, then through the childhood stage, then adolescence, adulthood, then we become old. These are the main stages of life. The two main stages are being young and being old. Now let's make this comparison between a young and an old person. What can you do as a young person that an old person cannot do? You can, for example, play sport. You can practice your hobbies. You can travel. You can take risks. You can take adventures. Whereas old people can also do all of this with a little less strength, but they can still do it if they want to. Youth is a gift. Age is an art. It means that when you are a young person, it's a gift given to you by God. But to age is an art. You can choose to stay young by doing things that make you energetic, active. Whereas you can choose to be an old person doing nothing and staying uh, in bed the whole day. Um, having no energy to do nothing the choice is yours actually you have this picture in your books as you can see these are some talented people young people this is Lionel Messi this is um, a Moroccan adventurer this is a Moroccan musician and this is an American um, actor Okay, all of these people have talents, they have gifts, they are still young. So these are the common things between them. They are all young and gifted. Now I want you to read this quotation with me and try to explain it. It says, youth is not a phase of life. Youth, to be a young person, is not just a stage of life that you go through, that you experience. It is rather a state of a mind. It is a mental, a mental thinking. It is what you think you are. It is the temper of the will. It is how much you want to do things. It is the strength, the, the strength of the will. It is the quality of imagination. As we know, we all have imaginations. Some have qualitative imagination, some others have quantitative imagination. It's like the difference between quality and quantity. It's not about how much, it's about how good your imagination is. It's about a vigor of emotion. You are a young person, you are full of emotions. How do you exploit this emotion? It is the predominance of courage over timidity. We are all courageous and we are all timid. It's how you, uh, it's how you uh, choose one over the other. It is the appetite for adventure over love of ease. So you should have an appetite of adventure, of taking risks, of doing things that make you active all the time, rather than taking uh, things in an easy way, not doing anything and uh, being passive. This is a quotation by Samuel Ullman and this is the way I interpret it. So here are some gifts of youth that you may already know. Let's have a look at them. You may find some new words to you. Vigor, vigor, imagination, imagination, innovation, innovation. 
Okay, vigor is about the strength. It's, for example, the vigor of emotion, the strength of your emotion, how strong your emotions are and how strong you are to follow your emotions when they are positive ones. Imagination, it's about creating something in your mind. It is the mental pictures that you have, you imagine things because you are a young person, you have hopes, you have wishes, you can imagine things the way you want. Innovation. Innovation is creativity. It's about creating or innovating new things. Uh, talent. Talent or skill, it's the gift. It's uh, something you're good at. There is a difference, of course, between a talent and a skill. A talent is something innate. It's, you have it already. Uh, it's an inborn thing. The skill is something you acquired with practice in your life for example the skills of a language you learn new skills in life for example you learn new skills of playing the piano and you are a talented piano uh, artist it takes talent and a skill to be so good at something vitality vitality is being vital is being active is being energetic Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is being motivated, um, ready to do things. Adventure. Adventure is when you take risks, when you want to do things out of your own will. And you take risks, you are a courageous person to take adventures. Some gifts of youth are passion. Passion means the love of something. For example, I'm an English teacher because I love this language, because I have a passion for English. You may like writing or, or drawing, you have a passion of drawing and you are good at it. Audacity. Audacity means courage. Courage means audacity. Talent or skill. Yeah. hope and creativity creativity is the same thing as innovation okay uh, these are some few words related to gifts of youth we may see them throughout the unit it's a good thing that you had a look at them now in order to turn a word into an adjective you need to add some suffixes uh, this is a word formation uh, vocabulary lesson and let's start with the first word vigor vigorous imagination imaginative for example I have a wide imagination that's a word imagination is the word when you say Hanan is an imaginative person. She has a very good imagination. She is an imaginative person. You're given here the adjective. That's why we add the suffix. And by adding the suffix, the word becomes an adjective. Creativity, creative. Now here we remove the, the, uh, the suffix. Adventure, adventurous. Innovation, innovative, talent, talented, ambition, ambitious, enthusiasm, enthusiastic, audacity, audacious. Now, there may not be a rule of um, uh, turning words into adjectives, but you can follow the suffixes rule. Uh, for example, when you see a word ending with this suffix or this this it means that we are talking about an adjective now this is an exercise can you fill in the blanks with the words from the list for example my quality is mm -hmm. I am an audacious young person or young man, so my quality is audacity. I am an audacious young man. My quality is innovation, so I am yes, innovative. Leila is an... 
she loves adventure so she is an adventurous girl Mahmoud has many ambitions so he is an ambitious student Ihsan has a wide qualitative imagination she is an imaginative young lady Ali can create wonderful artistic designs he is very creative now here are some words that you may need in an exercise abstract means existing only in the mind there are two uh, words abstract word and concrete word an abstract word is a word that exists only in mind and you cannot draw it you cannot see it you cannot touch it you may feel it for example imagination for example love for example faith whereas the other words that are concrete are for example like table hand foot board these are the words that are concrete you can see them you can touch them comprehension comprehension is an ability to understand to comprehend means to understand skills the skills are ability acquired by training for example writing skill reading skill concentrate concentrate means focus conclusion means result or opinion or judgment reached eclectic eclectic means selective you select you choose what you want well organized well organized means neat or tidy challenge to challenge means to dare to question to wonder to ask to question to motivated motivated means encouraged or excited or enthusiastic enthusiastic so here is the exercise. You have these words that we have just explained. You need to put them in the right place. Maybe you can pause the video and uh, do the exercise and then take the correction with me after you pause the video. Okay, I hope you did that. So, many gifted youth show an extraordinary ability to read. They learn to read at an early age with better Mm -hmm. of difficult texts with better understanding better understanding or comprehension of difficult texts they are also able to understand concepts and ideas there are as we said concrete and there are abstract the words that are harder to understand are the abstract ideas that's why among the challenges of young people they can understand abstract ideas and concepts moreover gifted youth commonly learn basic quickly and with little practice so what needs practice it's the skill they learn basic skills quickly they are often able to interpret messages quickly and draw mm -hmm, draw conclusions that other young need other youth need longer time to be able to do so so conclusion they take nothing for granted they tend mm -hmm, everything is ask a lot of questions so they tend to question everything they can work independently at an early age and can mm -hmm, for longer periods they can i think focus they can concentrate concentrate means focus sorry concentrate yeah for longer periods they are in their way of thinking they select they select the things that are suitable so they are eclectic they have unlimited energy which makes them mm -hmm, challenge their capacities and test their abilities they are highly 
motivated as they show great willingness to learn new things and examine unusual ideas. They tackle tasks and problems in a well-organized and efficient manner. Okay, here is a list of adjectives young and old people use to describe each other's views and behavior. Now let's read those words, those adjectives, and try to understand their meanings. Rebellious. A rebellious person is this person. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, so I don't think I, sh I need to explain more these pictures. So you can just have a look and understand. Old-fashioned. An old-fashioned fas person. Yes. Intolerant. Tolerant. Intolerant. Strong-headed. Strong-headed. Thoughtless. Thoughtless. Severe. Or bossy. Severe. And bossy. Careless. Careless. Immature. Immature. Untidy. Untidy. Disobedient. Disobedient. Undemocratic. Undemocratic. Obstinate, obstinate, adventurous, adventurous, mean, mean, nosy, nosy, authoritarian, authoritarian. So I think you have already guessed which, um, adjectives uh, we use to describe old people and which adjectives we use to describe young people so here you go here you go you have this exercise some adults think youth are now we're going to see what old people think about young people so rebellious Strong-headed, thoughtless, careless, immature, untidy, disobedient, obstinate, adventurous. Now let's move to what young people think about old people. They think that they are old-fashioned, intolerant, severe, bossy, mean, or uh, undemocratic, mean, nosy authoritarian because there is a generation gap a misunderstanding between the old and the young generations that's why this misunderstanding happens and these adjectives are used but we have to keep things simple and discuss with each other and accept our differences we should tolerate each other's different points of view and different ways of life okay that is it for my lesson today about unit one uh, gifts of youth i hope to see you soon in another lesson inshallah